what is going on everyone my name is Anish Kumar and in this series of videos you will learn action script 3.0 and some flash uh, sorry about not making some videos I was kind of busy and uh, mm, I was ill and uh, I had some college exams going on so the exams are now over and I'm back to flash so today we'll learn about uh, how to uh, animate or how to tween using actions so let's create a new flash document and just create something rectangle tool uh, let's create into a symbol movie clip let's write down the name to rectangle and also its instance name to rectangle REC uh, change the layer to REC create a new layer and change it to actions and now on the actions layer uh, we'll be creating some tweens so if you don't know what tween is tween is basically just uh, there are three types of tweens so it's classic uh, motion and uh, shape tween classic tween is simply uh, when you move something like this <coughs> this is classic tween simply moving uh, so we'll be use uh, changing the properties of actions and uh, <coughs> uh, okay. so let's go to actions uh, so we will learn about how to tween so first of all we'll create a variable var uh, so tween any name in rectangle so it will be tween so as soon as I hit this uh, colon tween it has imported some libraries from flash uh, so equals new tween so you have mis basically made it made a new tween and between these parentheses we'll be passing some parameters so there are seven parameters and you don't need to learn the parameters uh, so first is first parameter is the object name our object name was rectangle so you can see there are a bunch of seven doc seven parameters actually one two three four five six <coughs> and seven uh, sorry about that uh, arc0 in programming language arc0 is used to denote the arguments so you don't need to learn any of this so as soon as I hit this uh, co comma or as a, as soon as I typed into this parenthesis a pop-up like something like this will pop up and uh, it will be showing that argument first or the arc0 will be an object our object is this rectangle which is instance name is REC if its instance name was something like blah blah so it, it would have been actually changed at that point oh. so our second parameter is a string so I'll be explaining you in a moment so write down Y this is the property actually uh, we are using the Y property or changing the y axis the third is uh, something uh, uncommon basically so it's ease out none dot ease out I'll be explaining each and everything in a moment the fourth argument uh, is number uh, which is starting position from zero and the end position the fourth fifth argument actually one fifth argument is the end position for example 300 and uh, the sixth argument is also a number for how many seconds the animation will play for example 5 seconds and the last argument is boolean expression true or false that's it your tween is done but it won't work because uh, there need to be uh, an another class called uh, easing for it to work so there will be an error so 
undefined property none it's because it needs none dot is out needs an uh, need to imp needs a class or you can say um yeah it's a class basically uh so it's transitions <coughs> dot easing easing class uh, and uh, we'll write down dot star and semicolon so this is the basically syntax for importing classes so easing class is uh, used uh, for this function to work <coughs> so let's press control enter so it's moving from 0th y position to the 300th y position wherever the 300 is uh, wherever the 300 is okay um, so if you change it from y to x the second argument this is the second argument it is uh, written between the double quotation marks uh, because it's a string so it will now move from 0th x-axis to the 300th x-axis for like 5 seconds if you change it to 2 seconds it will move really fast it will move in 2 seconds from 0th to 300th position so you can mess with this so like 0 to 150th positions so rectangle the object name x property none dot is out is the is used for importing the uh, actually easing classes are imported uh, so if this ease class easing class is not there it won't work uh, I'll be making some more videos for classes <coughs> this is the starting position for the animation ending position time seconds and this is the expression boolean true or false if you change it to false uh, uh, it will move for only two it, it it won't matter if it's two seconds it will move for two frames so this two seconds will change into two frames so like two frames <coughs> So it's moving for 200 frames. So uh, let's keep it true. Okay. You can also change some of the properties. For example, alpha was a property. Its value is from uh, 0 to 1, or the percentage you can say. 0 is like opaque, and uh, 1 is transparent, fully transparent actually. So let's change it from 0 to 1. So actually one is opaque I'm really sorry about that one is opaque and zero is fully transparent so it's from transparent to fully opaque so if you reverse this from one to zero <coughs> it will be gone <coughs> thanks for watching the video please do subscribe if you like this video um, I'll try to make more videos and uh, thank you very much bye bye uh, another thing I want to tell you is uh, I recently monetized my website so if you want to purchase anything from Flipkart you can just type it on my website let us flash and a part of money will get to me uh, I'll I really appreciate if you use this uh, banner on my website if you like if you want to purchase an iPhone uh, you will be directed to Flipkart. So, <coughs> thanks for watching the video. Bye bye.